Hello, so apologies for the incredibly tired looking face. Um, it's going to be a really short vlog week this week because it's Thursday. Um, I've been in Hamburg until yesterday, uh, which is going to be a separate vlog again. So this is going to be a short one and probably not a very interesting one if I'm honest. I can't know. I think I'm doing anything mega exciting, but we'll see. Um, so I've got to stay off because I didn't get back to the Hamburg till really late. So I've got a lot to catch up on. So I'm going to try, I think the staff are trying to tackle my prior emails because I've got a lot. Because the emails first went out this week, so start with that, do all the emails, load of admin, clean the flat, and then gonna go vote. And God, I have so much other stuff to do. I need to get a vlog finished and a blog finished and all this stuff. So wish me luck. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna film today because it's just literally me doing admin. But um, we'll see. See if anything exciting happens. Hey guys, so I've been done my vote. I've been mostly um, just doing loads of. I've been stuffed today, so nothing too exciting. I um, just want to show you this because Harry bought me one of these particularly cubes, so I'm playing with that a little bit. Anyway, I had a lot of posts today, so I thought I'd share it with you because basically before I went away, I was really tired and spent money I shouldn't really spend. So then today, all of this arrived. So I figured let's get opening. So the first thing is this, and you probably can't tell because the lighting here is terrible. It's a pink metal side table, it's from George Asda. Um, it's not very big, that's the downside, I've got a feeling, I'm going to try and put it up tonight if I get time, um, I think it's going to be really short, but it's only like £19 maybe, so um, I'll show you the colour because it goes for my pink and green scheme, so looking forward to getting this open later. The next thing is something totally silly and fun that I bought, and it is this flamingo umbrella, so it has like, well, it's not going to focus on using this head, and it's all frilly and really pink, and then it even has a stand at the bottom. So it can stand up on its own, but how fun is this? Then in this big box we have some more stuff I bought from George. So we have this, like vintage style blue pillow. I kind of want it to be green to match my living room and it's not, so I don't know if I'll be keeping this one because it's not quite right, but I still love it, it's super soft. Um, and I also got another one which is a bit smaller in pink. I kind of wish they had this in this size. I think it's better, this goes a lot better with my living room, so. I don't know, I'll have to decide, but I just loved it. It's very 40s, sort of 50s boudoir feel, so I think they'd probably go in my bed, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and lastly, and probably the most boring one actually, that I think about it, um, is ooh, this massive, it's just a photo frame. I've been looking for a photo frame that do them all one way like this for ages, because I have these sort of postcards, uh, Disney themed, um, like Disney World adverts, like 50s style ones, um, and I wouldn't want them to fit, and then wanted me and my family in there, um, but I couldn't find anywhere to find this, so. That's it really. Hey guys, I'm sorry I wasn't sorry. Um I wasn't sorry. I wasn't wrong about this um week's vlog being a really short one. Um I didn't know if I filmed anything yesterday, I don't think I did. Um I built the table that I got that I loved, but um it's wonky, so I'm gonna turn it back so it's a bit sad and other bad meaning things. But now it's Saturday, I didn't film anything today because I had a Pride meeting at nine this morning and then three training sessions back to back for Pride, so I spent literally the whole day in an office again. But yeah, this pride's coming. Uh, but now I've got a couple of hours free, so I have to make some cocktails. So I'm going to make some for me and Harry, and we're going to play a board game about my birthday. I haven't played yet. So I'm thinking... I have to be careful because Harry's not the biggest spirit. <laughs> but I am. So I'm thinking something with a little bit of gin, more vodka, which is in the freezer. Uh, I'm thinking something with syrup sinks. I've never really done that before. And some ice. Uh, and some bangs, that's Harry's favourite. But, um... I don't know, let's see how it goes. So here is cocktail number one, it's got in a um, grenadine, uh, a double shot of vodka, a quarter of a shot of gin, uh, lemon juice, lemonade, uh, what else is in there? Something else that I've forgotten. <laughs> it's a bit of a mix, but it looks quite cool. And I've had a quick sip for a picture of maiden, it tastes nice, and it's not too strong, which I think is what Harry likes, so... Winner, maybe? So, uh, the cocktail's alright. Not the best thing ever, but okay. Um, and the game was fun, I'm really tired so it like, it took a long time to get into my head, but it's fun, it's Tokenado, if anyone's ever played that game with a cute little panda, um, it's a good game. Uh, but then I, when I got in today, um, a PR company had sent me some mail that I wasn't expecting because um, I'd forgotten, they said they were going to send me something. Um, basically the people who look after Sleek Cosmetics were like, do you want to try some stuff out? And I like Sleek, so I was like, sure. Um, and then they sent me some other bits as well, not from Sleek, because that was nice. I thought I'd show you what I got. So there's two companies, basically. Um, there's Sleek, and there's, but before Sleek, there's other company that... Let's try and fit this focus. Um, another company, they said they were going to send me some stuff, which they hadn't told me, sorry, they are going to send me some stuff, which is called... I don't know how you pronounce this. Sue... Nisi? 
Um, and I didn't think I'd heard of this brand before, but however, one of the things they sent me from them was these, and I have these exact same, like, coloured headbands. So yes, they got me another one of these, which I have another one of sitting over there, and they disappear all the time, so I'm very happy with these, because my boyfriend's hair's getting long, and he's also now stealing them, so definitely happy about these. They sent me this, which is a multi-styler, so you can make a bun out of it, and some kind of twist thing. I think these work a lot like the, um, what do you call rat tails in the vintage scene, where you can make them out of hair. Obviously this is just made out of sponge. It looks like you can make a French twist Hollywood roll and bun out of it. So I'm going to have to play around because I've never actually tried one of these before. I'm very impatient when it comes to hair, so let's see. hope this is fairly straightforward. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, from the same company, this. Which looks like is a, like this thing that makes it look like... It says side cone low styler, which is a bit... I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it gives you kind of more like a zigzag parting look to the sides, so it drags it up. Um, almost like, um, you remember those hair bands that uh, footballers and stuff used to wear? It looks kind of like that, you know, it gives you that same kind of look. Um, so yeah, I'm not totally sure on this one. It's not the kind of thing I normally think I'd wear, but I'm going to make one to keep my hair out my face. So I'm, I don't know. I'll just try it on and see, see if it appeals to me. Uh, and then a million hair grits, which, I mean, I literally bought some hair grits last week, you can never have too many, they just disappear. But the weirdness is it comes with this, um, no, it's just, like, what's it saying? Yeah, no teeth needed bobby pin opener. So you know how normally if you open a bobby pin you put it in your teeny teeth. This has got a specific thing you don't need that for, which is quite interesting, I've not seen that before. Um, and then moving on to Sleek, so, uh, I tell them they'd like one of their eye palettes, because they gave me, showed me a few of their new products. Uh, and they sent me this one, there's two on there, um, they sent me the acid palette, which looks like, let me just open it up. Um, now if you know me, I know I've not mentioned it much on this channel, but I'm a massive fan of really high pigmented, high colour things. Sorry, I was just wrestling to get this open. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of like Sugar Pearl, who do really high pigmented, um, but really expensive. Um, shades because I'm just like goth and alternative scene. I thought this might be a good alternative. You can see from these sponge applicators which no one uses these days, um which I was just trying out to see how pigmented they were. Um to be honest, on first swipe like if I just do this they're not the most pigmented. I can't really focus very well. But it does build so that's good. Like I had a couple of play around earlier. You can kind of see on these, you know, that's really bright. And um, my camera doesn't want to focus on it for some reason. But um on both ends of a couple of colours I was trying out on the sides there, um, so it does build even if it's, it's initially not great, I don't know how it's going to last, I'm going to have to play around with some of these, um, especially I like this kind of sunshiny bit in the middle, and then these got a few little shimmery shades in, um, and then the white which you can't go wrong with, so yeah, I'm going to play around with that, um, they also sent me a couple of lip products, so this is um, a sleek, what's it called, it's called Guest List Orange Lipstick, like this, uh, let's swatch it. This looks like this. I know my camera won't focus on it because it hates me, but it's and then also I've got the lamp on, so it's really warm lighting here, so it's not quite right. But this is a really quite nice orangey tone, really creamy actually, like a cream sheen style. So actually, that's impressed me so far. So the other two products they sent me are also lip products, they are these matte me let's look around. Um I don't know how to describe them as well. And here they call them ultra smooth matte lip cream. So it's not a matte or like liquid lipstick. They're matte creams. I've swatched them on my hand here. Um, sorry, my camera will not focus. Uh, this colour is interesting, which is this orange one, because it's just not something I would ever ever choose to wear. Um, not because it's like horrible. I just never, I never wear nudes, and this isn't even nude. It's quite a bright peach. So I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. It's just something I'd never pick on my own. This colour, however, it probably is more so. It's like a berry kind of colour, and I actually really like it. It's a bit weird. So it says it's a matte lip cream, but if you look at this currently, I mean, I've put a lot on. It's definitely not matte yet. So it's gonna be interesting to see when it dries like, and what the difference between that and a normal liquid to matte lipstick is. But yeah, definitely gonna give these a try. I might even wear this one tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, why not? Um, so tomorrow, in case I don't have too much time to talk to you in the morning because my life is prey centric this month, um, as I've warned you about a few times already, I know. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing a prayed walkthrough at 10 in the morning, so I'm going to have to set up quite early from here. I haven't had any lions for a while, I'm so tired, so exhausted. I've not slept well this weekend at all, and I've been up twice, both days of my weekend for Pride. And then I have Pride things almost every night next week, so i kind of looking forward to trying to schedule a lion at some point. I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I might be able to film a little bit on the route, but I don't know. It was a bit funny with Pride stuff, because it's all confidential, so I can't really 
share anything from any of those meetings or probably even tomorrow but um unless it's just us walking around i don't know um if not uh sorry this week's gonna be a bit rubbish um because tomorrow i'm just gonna be cleaning the flat after that uh and then monday i've got a premiere so i can probably show that to you well obviously i can't because it's a premiere but i can show you me going to that yeah this is gonna be short <laughs> sorry guys um i did say pride week Pride month, shall I say, um, it's mad. So today is the last day of uh, the vlog for this week. I, uh, to be, I told you this one would be a short one. Um, so tonight I'm off to the Prince Charles Cinema in Leicester Square, which is one of my favourite little cinemas in London. It's an amazing, gorgeous venue because I've been invited to the premiere of the Banksy Job, which is a documentary about an art heist. So as I was filming, um, Monday, as you might have guessed, my phone battery got full, and then I was in a rush to get to the um, cinema. I didn't think I was to film anything else with camera, sadly. Um, so I thought maybe I'm better off combining these two weeks because last week was so short, and this week I'm quite busy with things that I can't show you again. So I think I'm just going to combine these two weeks with the other one. I think that'll work quite well. Um, so it's now Wednesday. I didn't film anything yesterday because um, I was just going into a private social event that I had to do to work, which is the same thing as I'm doing tonight actually. I'm just on my lunch break and it's really nice and silly so I'm sat in the park and I work. Um, so the film, um, the, thing, the uh, film I saw on Monday was actually really good. It's a really interesting documentary. The guy who it was about was there. Um, he was just like a, a real character, I think, is the real way of saying it. It's just full of personality. Um, I definitely recommend it if you get a chance to watch it. I think it's coming on to Amazon Prime this week. Or um, you can purchase it on Amazon or something like that. So it's definitely worth catching, watching that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be filming anything for the rest of the day because, like I said, I'm just in more pridey things, so it's not, you know, anything I can really share with you. Hopefully, maybe something more interesting this weekend, um, and I'm just going to enjoy this on my account. Hey guys, so I have been the worst at vlogging this week. I'm so sorry. It's a good job that I'm combining two weeks, actually. Um, so Thursday, I didn't do anything. I was just in the house um, all day. Sorry about that. Um, then yesterday I was working and then afterwards I met my little sister and we just chilled out for a bit and then we went to see uh, Miss Hope Springs at Wigmore Hall but the sound was awful. I meant to be doing a review of it but I honestly don't know how I'm going to do it because I can never really hear a thing. Like it's the worst sound I've ever heard at any venue so I'm going to contact the PR about that because I was really shocked at how bad it was. Like they didn't sound like the mic was on for most of it, it was pretty bad. Now it's Saturday, it's glorious outside, I think it's like 28 degrees. And so we decided to do a last minute camping trip to Cheddar because some of Harry's family are going there. We didn't think we could go because I thought it was a pride meeting but I don't anymore and Harry isn't working. So we're just going to get us chuck some stuff in the van, in the car even, uh, and drive. I think it's four hours away. Um, someone's got a tent for us because we don't have one in an airbed. So we're a bit unprepared but we're just going to see how we go. I've never camped outside a festival before so this could be interesting. It's Sunday, I'm just really quickly checking in. Um, I wasn't up for them this weekend because it was like a family reunion for Hamley's family, Harry's family, Hamley. So it's a bit weird if I film that um, for people I've not seen for a long time, that people I've never met. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the because we're in Cheddar. Um, we've not been to see anywhere else and um, we've just been at the campsites now, five-ish. I think it's really, it's like 30 degrees so hot. But check out this view from inside my car. I so realise it's my first time in Somerset and just look at it. The car's in the way, but it's so beautiful. It is gorgeous. <laughs> 